Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone, and we are doing an in depth review of Fanny Starshine's kit, her weapon, and her logistics, and also a possible synergy with life, and probably some of our operatives in the game. So, we're gonna be starting off with her logistics. It's gonna be Reverie Squad. Um, two officers increase attack by 24. If equipped by Fanny Starshine, when any operative has a Starstone clip, which we will determine where she gets this or where they can get this, increases their ballistic damage by 40%. 40 is a big number. And when Fanny Starshine has a Star Gem clip, again, to be determined where she gets this, deals ballistic damage, increases her attack by 20% for that hit. So take note, if she's the main operative, she gets a boost, a attack boost from the ballistic damage. But if she's not the main operative, um, she gives the buff to the, to the main operative, a ballistic damage of 40%, which will really benefit a lot of operatives, not just life. Uh, infinite sight. So we'll go through the operatives later that will benefit from that. So take a mental note. This logistics gives a 40% ballistic damage. So take note of that. Moving on to her weapon here. So we have Heart Hunter details. So again, it's an assault rifle kinetic. Magazine size is 30, rate of fire 600. So this bit weapon is basically and has an increase in attack. When a party member deals damage with, with a special magazine, which, which Fanny Starshine gives, take note, take note of that because this will apply to her kit, okay? The damage ignores part of the enemy's resistance. So that magazine, that ammo bonus, I'm gonna, you know, spill the beans, that ammo bonus that Fanny will give is tied to this so that the damage of that ammo bonus ignores part of the enemy's resistance we're not sure yet how much additionally the ammo fired from the special magazine deals increased ballistic damage so again another buff for ballistic damage again this is going to be crazy this is going to be crazy for for main dps that has ballistic damage if the equipping operative is not in the field the ballistic damage increase is doubled. Ooh. Ooh. So if it's not going to be Fenny, the ballistic damage is times two. Wow. Wow. So definitely she is not going to be your main DPS. She is going to be your sub DPS. So I'll just leave it at that. Um, at this point, first glance, I think this weapon is, is a must pull. I'm sorry. But I don't think the four-star weapon gives this much of a bonus, especially if Fenny is off-field. So ignores re enemy resistance, basically you no know, defense or whatever. So enemy's resistance and has increased ballistic damage, especially has bigger when she's off-field. So again, off the bat, this weapon is a must-pull. <laughs> I, I can't say enough. For the logistics, though, we do have a free set. So the only thing that we'll be pulling is going to be the gun. Free set for logistics. That is a very good, um, what do you call this? Um, I think the logistics has a plus attack and plus alignment index. So the logistics part is actually sold for you guys. You just need to pull this gun. I think you only require one copy at, at, at least at this point. But if you're greedy, you could actually get more copies. So, again, Fanny Starshine is going to be a ridiculous buffer of uh, main DPS that does ballistic damage. So, next up is her kit. So, finally. Okay. So, let us digest. Um, so, Logistics has ballistic damage. Gun has ballistic damage. Can decrease resistance. You know. Um, we, d we do need to get the exact figures for that, but we'll see first. So this is the design that they have you know, shown to us um, recently. And we have seen this. This pose actually that she you know, drops a gun. This pose on the right is going to be her finishing pose. Um, then this is, uh, these are her skills. So basically guys, I just want to thank Snowbreak GG for 
translating this this is going to be hard for us creators if you know if we cannot read um you know chinese characters so basically i'm thanking you guys for doing the translations for the community and to start off standard ability path of starlight so this is it so take note that her standard ability has three options three ways to shoot one is a straight shooter one is an aoe with lesser you know lesser rate of fire and the other one recharges s energy so let's go down so dashes in direction so take note the three of you know there are three ways to play her standard skill so dashing sideways forward and backward so gain a crystal magazine with bonus ammo var var varying um, effects based on the direction traveled bonus ammo doesn't change the elemental damage dealt by the equipped weapon so again sideways bonus damage kinetic damage bonus very straightforward number two dashing forward grants bonus damage that fires more slowly but increase aoe so again scenario wise this is going to be nice as well dashing backward will grant bonus ammo that restores s energy on hit so this one if you're using her as a main dps again these will be very very crucial as well on how you play her this ability can be cast even if Fenny does not have enough s energy though the amount of bullets granted will be reduced so neuronic one the skill is no longer a cooldown wait really no cooldown increase the amount of bullets granted by the skill so again this is going to be useful as a sub dps crystal magazine ammo is considered to be normal ammo and uh, will be consumed before the existing ammo in the weapons magazine so special ammo will be shot first uh, before the regular ammo for any operative including fanny starshine still considered as normal shooting cannot be replaced by other means and does not stack with other special magazine effects okay here's the one that you guys have been waiting for which is the support ability inspirational voice so um she gives inspiration to to life it's very literal there uh, let's uh, take a look at it. Fanny provides the active operative with a pyroxene magazine. So another type of magazine granting bonus damage. The amount of ammo provided is based on the ammo capacity of the operative's weapon. So life has 100. So probably a, you know, a larger special, a larger ammo. Um, uh, No, not a larger, a larger qu quantity of ammo on the special bullet probably. And combined with with Fenny's as well, so I'm not sure how how do they do that, but that's going to be ba the basically what I'm saying is the, the more ammo you have, I think it's it's going to be better. Which in life's case, um, infinite sight, she has 100 again for crossbows. A fixed amount of bonus ammo will be granted based on the selected mode, a selected fire mode. Uh, probably again, it's it's going to be limited. So once you you spit all it out the special ammo you'll go back probably to your regular ammo for your crossbows when the active operative fires bonus ammo they gain an attack buff so technically the bonus ammos do have a lot of things linked to it this is actually linked as well to the gun so this is going to be crazy guys a lot of buffs are you know going to be flying around Neuronic one when a party member without pyroxene critically hits or hits an enemy's weak spot. The cooldown of this skill decreases with a cooldown on how often this on how often this can occur. Neuronic two the increase the maximum number of charges of the skill that can be stored. So again, these are very vague. We'll have to test this out. Pyroxene magazine, so it's considered to be normal ammo, is not affected by attitude buff, cannot be changed. The normal weapon magazine amount count, which is correct, cannot be consumed by abilities, only shooting will be consumed before the existing ammo. Again, same case when she uses her own gun, when she's the main operative. Um, is still considered as a normal shooting and being consumed, cannot be replenished by any other means, and does not stack with other special magazine effects so will i count guys there are a lot of buffs so logistics wise 40 percent ballistic 
um, support, additional ammo, attack buff, and for the weapon, you'll have, um, again, ballistic damage is doubled if if it's not, you know, if it's not uh, uh, Fenny on the field. So, again, and ignores part of the enemy's resistance. Again, there, it's going to be a lot. Increased damage plus decreased um, resistance is going to mean a lot of damage. So, again, going back to ultimate ability, Destined Protagonist. So, this one, um, I just want to discuss this because you might want to use this because you're going to be using Fenny on field. Fenny fires a continuous attack over a period of time continuously, dealing kinetic damage to enemies hit. Fenny also gains damage reduction while casting this ability. Using the skill, using the skill restores S energy. And the damage dealt by the skill gains benefits of ballistic damage buffs, but specifically not ADS hip fire ballistic damage buffs. Okay. Um, again... We will have to see that in the actual game. Um, the skill, however, is kind of a watered-down uh, free shot ultimate, from my understanding. So we'll also have to test that on how big the damage is once we get her tomorrow. So they was passive. This one as well, Team Spirit, when equipped with a kinetic weapon, obviously you're going to be using her unique personal weapon increased ballistic damage dealt by all party members again another buff for ballistic <laughs> for all party members this boost scales with alignment index again i'm just gonna have to do the math tomorrow on how big really is the damage for the, all the that possible damage probably that this girl will give Again, Life Infinite Sight is not the only girl that's going to benefit from this. You have Chen Sheng, you have Katya, you have Yao, you have Haru, top of mind. Fanny Coronet even can, can benefit from this. So you can use two Fennies on your team. So some people will be happy with that. Um, again, this is going to... She's going to be one in the meta for, you know, for support. She's going to be top tier um we'll have to see her her manifestations we haven't seen that yet these are just skill previews but you know her being free uh her weapon we should pull it's a must pull at this point logistics are free um i don't think i don't think this is a bad investment for her she will be one of our top support operatives in the game again this weapon um this is Going to be a must pull. Um, I will confirm this tomorrow as I pull for this weapon. Uh, but again, guys, at this point, she, you know, this is a very welcome first anniversary gift and makes use of, make use of it, guys, because this will really, really help your team or Fanny Starshine will really help your team. Whether you're free to play or you're well, doesn't matter. She is going to be a big buff to your collection. And more or less, again, she's going to be everywhere, I tell you, in terms of uh, usability in your team. So that is it, guys. I just noticed that her hand is covered in black. The other one is in orange. So anyway, that's, that's another conversation in the future. So... At this point, guys, I'd like to leave you with a note that tomorrow I'll be doing some polls with her weapon, doing a guide as well on how to build her, and I'll be streaming later and also tomorrow. So I'll see you guys. Take care. Stay safe. Again, comment in the comment section. What do you think of her kit? Um, stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.